This is the fall armyworm, and it is a big pest in Kenya right now. First spotted in Kenya around 2017, this insect has a big hunger for crop destruction. The fall armyworm is capable of devastating full harvests of maize and many other varieties of crops. The International Center of Insect Physiology and Ecology, or ICIPE, is a world organization specializing in sustainable biological control. One of their lead pest control methods is push-pull technology. I have come to ICIPE to chat with senior technician Dickens Nyegol to find out why push-pull is so important in the fight against fall armyworm. With all these problems of the fall armyworm, I'm sure that ICIPE must have a solution for our farmers. We have a technology uh, called push-pull. Aha, push-pull. Push-pull was originally developed to control stem borers, but also very effectively controls fall armyworm. Stem borer moths are repelled by desmodium and napier grass attracts them. Push-pull was adapted to climate change where farmers use brachiaria grass in place of napier. Both napier grass and brachiaria grass can be used as they work the same way. The mechanism for fall armyworm control in push-pull is repellence of fall armyworm moth due to the smell of desmodium. However, napier grass or brachiaria grass do not attract the fall armyworm moths, but do attract stem borer. Let's take a look at push-pull from above. Here is where napier grass or brachiaria grass is planted around the edges. And here are the lines of desmodium planted between the well-spaced maize. This is working on maize spacing of 60 centimeters apart. Now, let's explain how push-pull works. Maize is intercropped with desmodium. The desmodium produces a natural smell that pushes the stem borer moths away from the maize. The napier grass or brachiaria grass is planted around the plot to pull the adult stem borer moths away to lay their eggs there instead of in the maize. A natural smell in the napier grass or brachiaria grass attracts pests. This system also controls fall armyworm effectively. Simple. Push, pull. So how long has this push and pull been in existence? Since uh, the year 1998. And uh, initially it was developed to control other pests like the maize, tembora, and the staggerweed. Now it is also controlling the, 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 the big problem of the fall armyworm. And is it suitable for small scale or large scale farmers? It can be used by both because uh, the farmers who are using the, 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 the desmodium, some of them are small scale farmers, but even the large scale farmers now, because the desmodium is there, it will be able to control the fall armyworm even if the plot is big. And I suggest we go maybe see a farmer who's been practicing push pull and we hear from them. Very possible. <laughs> Since many farmers in Kenya already practice push-pull methods, finding the fall armyworm was easy. Shambas where push-pull was not being used was where fall armyworm destroyed crops. The shambas where push-pull was being used was where fall armyworm stayed away from the crops. He super soon realized this and began investigating. Dan is a farmer from Kisumu County that Isipe gave some much needed help to. So tell me Dan, have you ever had a problem with fall armyworm? It was very serious. I couldn't get something from this farm. So you went at a complete loss? It was a loss. This, this portion alone, this mm. side, mm -hmm. I got only seven tins, uh, 2 kg. 2 kg? Yeah. That's a huge loss. And so what made you change? So with your system of farming, what made you make the change? I was uh, looking for a solution. So a friend of mine shared with me about the push-pull technology. Mm -hmm. And I went and, and, and I saw him doing it. Yes. So that I was interested to do the same. Mm -hmm. Eventually, that was the, the only thing I could do. I, I, I could now see the, the result. There was no 
follow me one in this, this plot. Was it easy for you to change from your old system into the push-pull? Uh, to me, it was easy for me. Why? Why I, did you find it easy? I got the contact with the BCP people. Mm -hmm. they, they managed, I managed to get contact with them. And they gave you the assistance? They, they gave me the assistance, mm -hmm. uh, even the seeds. And how are you feeling now as a farmer with this kind of, uh, this kind of maize? How are you feeling? Now I'm a happy man, yes, you can see the <laughs> difference. To make the change to push-pull and fight against fall armyworm is easy. You will need to plant desmodium in between your well-spaced maize. You can ask a neighbor for desmodium and plant the stalks. Or 200 grams of seed will cover one quarter of an acre and costs around 250 shillings. And then plant napier grass or brasheria grass around your maize. Desmodium, napier, and brasheria grass are all fodder plants for your cattle. So now, Deacons, tell us, what do you think of how he's uh, carrying on with his push pull project? Dan has done well. He has implemented the push pull technology very well. This is a good example of how push pull technology can be implemented. His farm is not affected by the fallen arm, and it can, it can be a very good learning site for others to come and see what push pull can be able to do. Is this what you want all farmers to be doing? If farmers do it right, this is what they would get mm -hmm. in terms of controlling fallen arm and getting good yields. All right, and Dan, where do you see yourself in the future using this push pull method? Using this push pull method, I think I'll be a notch ahead of other farmers in terms of harvesting food security. And as usual, you'll be smiling. Yeah, I'll be smiling. <laughs> I'm very happy. <laughs> very happy. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. For more information on how to use push pull on your shamba, or if you discover fall armyworm, please contact us via iShamba or contact ECP for further information on 020-863-2000.